and a bing bong. I'm here with Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master, Plain Archives Limited Edition Release, number 006. I'll be honest, uh, this is uh, a double dip for me. I already own the lenticular uh, edition steelbook, but I am trying to support this company the most I can. So I saw that it was still available online, made the order. Very happy I got it. Okay, this uh, comes with the uh, director approved artwork sticker, just like the Zero Dark Thirty release did. We have uh, one of these awesome Plain Archive exclusives stickers. I almost don't want to take it off, but. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna keep this somewhere. It's still pretty sticky and it didn't do any damage coming off, so. Whew. Okay, what we have with uh, the Master is a full paper slip and a uh, steel book and 40 page booklet inside. Let's get it open. I can already feel uh, a super high quality, um, thick paper casing around the movie. Sort of got a cardboard style finish to it uh, a little a little rough a little a little rough and the lettering is indented a little bit I really like the spine on uh, this version of the master it's the lenticular edition is as you can see it's a little bit thinner spine so it doesn't flushly match all of my other plain archive releases it, as well as the the brown case does which is one of the reasons I got it even though they'll still stand next to each other uh, in my collection so uh, this is limited edition uh, there were 1700 of this edition released and I have uh, looks like 1144 I like that 1144 okay so I can't say enough positive things about this casing. This is one of the most high quality cases that I own in my collection. Okay, inside. As expected, steel book and 40 page booklet. Hold on, take a look at inside the slip here. We've got signature. I'm gonna guess that is Paul Thomas, An Paul Thomas Anderson's signature. And inside here, Paul Thomas Anderson film. If you haven't seen any Paul Thomas Anderson films, what have you been doing? Heart Eight, Punch Drunk Love, uh, Magnolia, There Will Be Blood, Boogie Nights, okay, The Master. One of the things that separates this edition from the lenticular edition is the booklet, okay? The booklets are a little bit different. Um, let me show you what I mean. The lenticular edition booklet is not housed in the um, in the slipcase. It's actually housed within the steel book, and as you can see, it's a it's a bit smaller. It's a bit smaller, and uh, it's a few less pages. Even though this uh, this is the lenticular booklet, and this is the full paper slip booklet, uh, the lenticular booklet is no less cool design. It feels like a little book. Um, like a notebook and again there's English there's Korean so most of the essays are translated with high quality pictures on the side so it's an awesome booklet I do like uh, housing the books in the in the slipcase so and this artwork is irresistible I didn't get a chance to get the um, there's one other master release from Plain Archive with uh, this artwork on this booklet. And this is uh, original artwork. It's awesome. Inside the booklet, as to be expected, high quality color photos, high quality color with essays. And the question is, are these the same as the lenticular edition? Now it's time to find out. The pictures are the same. Pictures are the same. 
It's pretty much the same booklet, it's just different style. One is more of a lighter, flexible paper that fits inside the steel book. The other is um, the more, I would say, higher quality, thicker paper that's housed inside the slipcase, as I said. Okay. Some double page photos. There's the uh, one of the essays in Korean. It's a couple different features in here. Uh, it looks like a very nice little tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman, um, cherish his memory, and the end. Uh, this is not translated into English. Really wish that was translated. That that. That looks interesting. There are, there is a review uh, in English. And there is a um, Back to the 50s, Making the Master, How it Revived the 1950s, little essay here by Song Kyung Hwan. That's a good little essay. Okay, so those are the two English um, write-ups in the booklet. Here's the steel book. Again. Incredible artwork for the steelbook. Here's the back. As you can see, the um, steelbook number three, released by Clean Archive. I believe the first one was The Wrestler, and then um, I Saw the Devil, and now we have The Master. Okay, I'm unwrapping the steelbook now. Uh, even on the steelbook, this uh, the master title here is a raised printing. It uh, feels really cool. Inside, as to be expected, the Plain Archive signature envelope housing for potentially postcards, posters, etc. Let's have a look. Okay, and it is titled uh, The Artworks of the Master. Let's uh, compare the two envelopes, okay? They are identical. They are identical. Here we go, we've got the um, first postcard. This is the uh, teaser poster. Kaleidoscopic theatrical poster. This is one that, you know, really gives off that culty Scientology vibe. We've got the official Spanish poster here. We've got four different little posters here. These are some sketches for the Spanish poster. Some sketches for the Spanish poster. Here is the official Turkish poster. The official Turkish poster. Ooh, the blue, I like that. Uh, this is the official Korean poster. Excellent coloring, okay. And as you can see, it has the uh, Korean print. Masuta, awesome. Okay, here we have the UK promotion poster. And uh, here is the promotion poster in the USA. Probably the most plain out of all of them, but uh, kind of a classic, you know, Rolling Stone style. Okay. Is the artwork inside the steel book? Here is the disc. Okay, so the steel books are identical, both releases. Okay, so all in all, I'm uh, extremely happy with uh, this purchase, this uh, addition to the collection. Um, the steel book is one of the best artworks that I've seen in a long time. The booklet has some of the most amazing original artwork that you can get today, front and back, uh, love and both, and the highest of qualities housing the uh, full slip case with uh, kind of a shiny, you can see that shine there, and um, on the back it's got the uh, man is not an animal, we are not part of the animal kingdom quote. Uh, both of these are still available on the website for order. So if you're remotely interested, uh, start, get, get involved in collecting these, get involved in purchasing from this company. This is the best of the best. Um, I'm going to keep buying them, and I hope they stay around for a long time. Join the club. Get on it. Plain Archive all the way. See you next time. Bing bong. I've got the biz, 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 those
just really 